Continuously rising prices of fresh water have prompted industries to look out for ways to conserve water. Treatment for cooling tower reuse includes bar screens, an equalization tank and primary clarifier for pretreatment, an aeration tank and secondary clarifier for secondary treatment, activated carbon filtration and disinfection for final treatment. The purpose of the bar screens is to hold back gritty material that could cause damage in following treatment processes. Next in the equalization tank, water is mixed and the pH value is neutralized by dosing of acid or base. This purpose is important as bacteria for biological treatment can only survive at a pH value around 7. Afterwards, fine particles are clumped together using flocculation and then settled down by gravity separation in the primary clarifiers. To increase particle separation significantly, lamella plate settlers, as provided by AET, are installed. In the aeration tank, microbes reduce BOD through oxidization and produce sludge. For enhanced BOD removal, aeration tanks can additionally be equipped with fixed bed biofilm reactors by AET. The produced sludge in the aeration tank is passed through a secondary clarifier for settling and aging. Afterwards, sludge is recirculated into the aeration tank as food for the microbes. In the last step, the water is disinfected and polished in an activated carbon filter. Finally, the water can be reused for the cooling tower process. All in all, use of recycled water can reap monetary benefits because of the large volumes of water requirement in cooling towers. Also, the Mella clarifier and fixed bed systems make water reuse more affordable through lower investment and operating costs. To receive more information or engineering support, please use the link below to contact us. Thanks for watching. And if you like our 3-minute video tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give a thumbs up.